hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how to make a diy homemade battery using only copper aluminum and blitz finish the video until the end to know how it's made check this out guys okay now we have here the materials we need for this project first we need aluminum heat sink and this will be our negative and a copper pipe this will be the positive so I will show you there's nothing inside the copper pipe and we have here a receptacle and an LED bulb which is 5 volts 0 0.5 watts and this one is a step up boost converter input is from 0 0.9 it can boost up to 5 volts DC and of course we need a container and blitz okay the first procedure we need to uh, secure the aluminum under the plastic cover of the container using bolt and nut okay there's a hole in the receptacle in which we are going to insert the bolt then we will secure it using nut okay so it took me uh, some time to assemble this because uh, the parts are very small so use a plier to tighten the nut and then the copper which is the positive also secure it with bolt and nut insert to the hole and tighten with nut so now we have the negative and the positive terminal output okay now this time we are going to make sure that uh, aluminum and copper will not touch each other in order to prevent short circuit now we're going to connect the switch to the positive terminal okay so we have the uh, terminal for the positive going to the receptacle and next is tighten it then the other wire connect to the positive input of the boost converter okay just solder it and now it's done okay now we're going to connect the negative terminals to the input of the uh, boost converter then make sure it is very tight to prevent loose connection so okay there you go now i'm going to connect the output of the boost converter to the positive and negative terminals of the led led bulb Okay, just negative to negative and positive to positive. And we're almost done here. Okay, now there we go.
Okay, just uh, completing the connection. Okay, now uh, it's, it's giving hard time to loosen that uh, wire. So anyway, I'm just uh, reconnect it. And there you go, guys. And for the moment of truth, now we're going to fill this with bleach or you can also use chlorine powder now I'm going to put a plastic between the aluminum and copper that is a separator to prevent touching each other in order to prevent short circuit I'm going to pour this uh, liquid uh, chlorine Okay, don't forget the separator and there you have it guys now let's test if it's working <laughs> 